Yo, what's up, guys? My name is Mr. Freeze2244, and welcome to the Epicure's Elusive Target Arcade contract. We'll be doing this with a default loadout, so if you're brand new to the game or you've got no mastery levels for Paris or any of these levels, then this is the guide for you. So I'm going to use default loadout, start in the default location. The complication for this one is we're not allowed to eliminate the targets with poison. So anything else is acceptable. So we're going to start at the red carpet. Bring along a pistol, coin, and fiber wire. The coin well, is very useful traps. for all three of these the levels, which is why it's one, it's one of the best, if not the best, item in the game. So this is the chef, the first time he's appeared in Hitman 3. And the problem with this particular loose target, if you're not using poison, it's going to be a little bit of a, a bit of annoyance. Because he spawns in random locations, and we really want him to get him in the kitchen. Now, Diana will tell you that he's in the kitchen, but he's not always there. So we're going to first run into this basement. Pass across this corridor to avoid that stylus that just looked at you there. Put this disguise on and head straight to the kitchen, picking up the crowbar along the way. Now, if the uh, elusive target isn't actually in the, in the kitchen itself, you will notice by looking at the mini-map, you'll see a bunch of dots. Now, if he's not there, go ahead and restart the mission and basically keep restarting until he's there because this is the easiest way of doing this. Once you're in this corridor, place the coin on the floor. You can do that on the, on the controller by using the top shoulder buttons, the L1 and R1 or LB and RB and use the triangle or the Y button and then once you've knocked out the guard put him in the closet, take his disguise and pick up all the stuff that's on the floor like the pistol and the coin once the target uh, starts moving we're just going to drop a coin right there in the middle of the area wow, and his uh, the entourage of three people following him, we're just going to bump into all three of them just to slow them down we're going to take out the suppressed pistol and once the target is aware of the coin, we're going to shoot the chandelier. That's going to drop on his head, and now we can head to an exit. That's an accident kill. So even though the body is found, it will still retain our silent assassin rating because it was an accident kill. That's how it works. There was an enforcer there in the kitchen. You just need to be wary of him as well. Uh, that's why we had to avoid him. So yeah, you can take any exit you like. You're probably better off putting your suit back on, really, and heading to the main entrance. I was silly and came this way because I thought this was all right on the security guard disguise but really it's probably safer even quicker as well by sticking your suit back on and just running straight to the exit area uh, uh, with less enforcers because there's an enforcer there to our left so we're going to dive into our right head straight to the main exit but yeah the chef is uh, one of those elusive targets where you would always kill him with poison because he goes around vlogging and he'll be sampling food and things like that so yeah, it's one of those targets where you'd always want to be poisoning him, but the fact that this is, you're not allowed to use lethal poison on this, uh, just trying to, I think it kind of like, forcing creativity, which is fair enough, I guess what that's what these looser target arcade contracts are all about overall, I suppose. But yeah, we figured it out a route, and that's how I think is the best way of doing it. Level 2, we have the Food Critic, the No Poison Elimination, we've had it before in the Looser Target Arcade Contract, I'm not sure which one, but again, default location, default equipment. Now for this particular target, we're actually going to push him over the ledge. Now I've done this particular method before, and I'm going to do it again. Now this is a really limiting uh, Looser Target, because if you don't poison him, you're really limited on what you can actually do, because he doesn't go anywhere, that's the problem. So, it's, you've really got two options really, you can either push them over the ledge, or you can explode them with a propane flask, and I don't think the propane flask method is ideal, especially for new players. So I'm going to show you how to push them over our ledge for an accident kill. So we're going to come over this garden, and climb up this pipe, and then climb around this ledge all the way on the other side, and then we need to vault up into the next area, into the room. Now, you might uh, encounter some issues, I'm, I'm preempting some of the issues that people are going to say about this method. And I'm going to get to it once we get there, so don't worry about it. So, we're going to take out the coin, open this door, chuck a coin in the corner of the room, pick the coin back up, close the door, and hide. So it's just a matter of distracting the guard that's in the next room, retrieving the coin, and making sure the door is closed before we hide. That's the reason why we did all that stuff. Once we've done that, we're going to close the door before you subdue him. Grab his pistol, and take his disguise. We close this door behind us once we pass through. Now he's going to be talked. The target's going to be talking to a waiter, 
and we're going to skip that conversation. It might be safer. In fact, I recommend you just listen to this conversation or let him go, because you can skip the conversation by dropping a coin like this, and the waiter's going to walk away, but he's going to come back in a bit. But So you, you're better off just listening to the conversation, letting him go, and it, you've got a much larger gap to work with. So we're going to drop a pistol next. The target's going to see the pistol. He's going to tell the guard to take it away. That will leave the target all by himself. The next step is for when the target turns around, we want him to spot this coin. So we're going to place the coin on the banister like this, on the on the, the balcony. And the timing is not right, because the waiter's just come back. We're going to take the coin back and then place the coin back again. We want the waiter to walk away. There we go. Now again, if you're still struggling with this and you get spotted pushing him, pushing him over the ledge like this, then I would recommend throwing a coin down to the restaurant in the corner of the restaurant to get everyone to turn around before you push him. But if at that point you still encounter issues, I would recommend just quitting to your dashboard. Do not quit to the main menu in the game. I'm talking about closing the game completely through your console or Alt F4, uh, F4, Alt F4 if you're on PC. Uh, that will close your game completely. Reload your game and you'll be able to play level 2 all over again. So if you do get spotted there or you're encountering issues there, that's the way to restart it if you've taken out your target. Just thought I'd put that out there. But I've done this method multiple times. I've not found issues with it, but other people seem to be finding issues with it. So I'm trying to uh, help out in those situations. But that's a Sonic Assassin for level 2. So let's move on to the final level. Which is the Procurers. We've done this a few times. Uh, no poison is necessary for this. We're going to do it suit only as well. Because disguises don't really help us in this situation. Welcome Not that I can see a disguise that would even be ideal for us. We'd have to pretty much go out of our way to get a disguise that would work. Alright for us. But if you find a disguise that will work for you. Like a security guard or something. Go ahead and grab it if you like. But it's not going to help you, inside, help you inside the house. That's for sure. So we're going to head straight to the house now and take care of business. Again, we've done this multiple times and I'm going to show you the same method because it's just reliable and simple and easy. I've heavily been using the coin during, during this uh, entire arcade contract and it just reminds me how powerful the actual coin is really as a tool. And again, this is where we're going to use it again. So grab this crowbar right here, take the coin. Chuck it over there, and, and it's going to distract the maid and the guard. So it's going to get them to turn around, so it gives you an opportunity to jump up here and get inside the house. Take out the crowbar, knock out this maid, close this door, close that door, and then drag the body and put her in the nearby crate. Once we've done that, our target is going to be in the kitchen. He's going to come out momentarily. So in the meantime, I'm going to take 47 to the bathroom because he needs to use it. Grab this wrench from inside the bathroom. And then grab the two coins that are on the table in the corridor. Next step, we're going to take out the fiber wire. Our target should be making his way through this section now. Close the door behind you. Uh, behind him, I should say, before you take him out. We don't want to get spotted. Go rot him with us, the fiber wire and then put him in the nearby crate. He drops a packet of cigarettes on the floor. That's an important item for our next target, so take that. Once you jump over this wall, you might want to chuck a coin on the opposite side just to get the guard out down here to turn around. Otherwise, he might be looking at you just like this, and it might be a little bit of a close call trying to climb up here. So you might want to use a coin to your advantage once again. Next, we're going to stay crouched and head and approach this door. I'm not sure if this guard is triggered by your uh, you being close or not, or the timing of it. But this guard will be walking to the right, and we're going to circle around the room on the left. Once we get to this pillar, we again chuck a coin at the opposite side of the room. Okay. That's going to get the guard to turn around. He's going to investigate. That's going to give us a chance to swap this cigarette packet. I understand, sir. Head on outside, close the door behind you, and sabotage this valve, or loosen the valve. Just make sure the maid is not looking at you. The windows are not see-through, by the way. The people inside the house can't see what's going on outside. Even though you can see through the windows, but the guards can't. I don't know how. I don't know how to explain that, but yeah. If that uh, shortcut isn't open, by the way, you can use a crowbar on it, break it open, as long as the maid is not looking at you. 
But essentially, once we're at this point right here, we're going to stay hidden in the bush. This guard is... It gets a little bit broken. He's, he does eventually fix himself, eventually, but so uh, this guard's a bit broken. But we're essentially just going to wait now until the target takes care of itself. He's going to explode off the balcony at the top, and then we can head straight to an exit. Target's eliminated. Find an exit. Your money is being transferred now. So there we go, that's the Picures, and that's all three levels taken care of. The Epicures is complete. So if this is your first Elusive Tiger RK contract of this week, you'll unlock the Ancestral uh, Fountain Pen. So if you complete this, or the other one that came out this week, the Baneful, that's it. So anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video if it helped you out. Subscribe if you are new to the channel, and hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams, and consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel like all these people on the screen. I uh, really do appreciate all the support. I'll leave a link in the description for all the membership details about that if you want to go and join that. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.